Hello, my name is Heather Woody, and we're going to key a fern today. So if you take a look at my very unkept garden, I have one fern growing in it, and we're going to try to identify it. So I have three kinds of keys here. I have a book called How to Know the Ferns, which just talks about general characteristics, and it does do some identification. We have a Peterson Field Guide to the Ferns, which has all of the characteristics of the fern on one side and has a picture of the fern on the other. And this is a kind of key that you would use in the field. You would open it up and try to find out what that thing is by looking it up and looking at the picture in the book. Today I want to talk to you about something called a finder. It's a dichotomous key. This one is called the fern finder and we're going to use it in order to find out what kind of fern is growing in my garden. So if you open up the fern finder to the first couple of pages, it's going to show you all of the different characteristics that you would use in order to identify the fern. And the first thing you want to look at is the fern's shape. So on a fern, this is this whole leafed out piece is called the frond. And what you want to know is the shape of the frond. Some ferns are broad at the base and then they taper. Some start tapered and then get broader and then taper again. And some do a combination of that or neither. And so what you want to do is find out what your fern is doing. And this one is definitely skinny at the, t at the bottom. It gets fatter and then it gets skinny again. The second thing you want to look at is the division of each of the pinnae or the leaves. So on the frond and on the, on the stalk here in the middle are all these little um, leaflets. And some of them are divided and some of them are whole. So some ferns aren't divided at all. This one is divided more than one time. And so that's going to take us to a different part of the key. So let's get started and see where this one takes us. So you open up to a little section at the beginning of the key and it's it's kind of like a choose your own adventure and you get to decide by process of elimination based on the characteristics which page to go to next. So if the green if the blade is green and leafy is divided then you go to page 11 and if not we keep going before below. But we know that it's divided. It looks like this. So we're going to go now to page 11 because that's where it tells us to go. And on page 11, we know that this symbol means that it's divided. And it says if the blade is vine-like and each pinna divides into two hand shapes like this shape, then it's a climbing fern. But that's not a climbing fern. If it has, if the blades have scale-like pinnae and the plant is free-floating, then it's this kind of fern and it's neither. So if it's none, then we go to the next page. Now we have three choices to make. And if it's once divided, and it's not, it's divided more than once, so we're going to go to page 22. With a key like this, you have to have the item right in front of you because you have to make decisions while looking at it. Okay, on this page, if both the stipe and the rachis, which is the um, the stalk on which the leaves come out, is brown or black, then we go here. And if it doesn't have that, we go to page 28. And these are not black. And nor are they dark brown. We're looking at the line here and the line up the leaflet. So we're going to go to page 28. Page 28 says, if the blade is clearly brought us at the base like this, or is it like this, or if it's neither. And this one is definitely skinny at the bottom, fatter and skinnier at the top. So we're going to go to page 38. And on page 38, we have to decide whether the stalk is scaled or not. And this one is heavily scaled. I took a look. It is not heavily scaled. So we're going to go to the next page. And if it is, if the blade is less than seven inches, we go on. And if it is um, 
longer, we have another place to go. And if it is delicate and broadest at the middle, and then these little guys are round, then we found our spot. And you can see that the sori are round. That's these little, Would you share that with us? The, so the sori are the little dots you can see here that hold, you, I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera, but. They're little hold. round dots on the back and they will hold the spores. They will hold the spores and those are the sori. And that is what we're looking at to see if they're round and if they are in the right, and to see how they're placed on our pinnule, our, yeah, the pinnule. Yep, and so it is. And we're looking at a New York fern. So New York ferns, this yep, one here. This one here. And then they give the range map to tell you where these ferns are normally found to help you make your decision to see if that finally is the correct answer. So that's how you use the dichotomous key. It's a great key to use if you're out in the field and you have no idea where to start. If you know what you can find it by looking at it, you can use a regular field guide. If you don't even know where to begin, then a dichotomous key is a really nice key that can be used. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.